Hello readers. So today I want to teach you about visualizing. So I want you to watch me as I read aloud the book, or sorry, the book, yeah, the book, The Black Rabbit, written by Philippia Leathers. And while I'm reading, I want you to pay attention and notice how I use my senses and how I add the senses to my imagination with the story that is that I am visualizing, the mental picture I am building inside my own mind with my own imagination. The Black Rabbit. So right from the very beginning, what I want you to notice is that all of these details tell me and show me in the pictures, even before words, that there, we're out in nature. Like even down here in the corner, I see a compass. So along with every skill we do in reading, everything we juggle as readers, we're always using our schema. So we're always using the knowledge and experiences that we already have. And so I see with this map that automatically my nature senses start to kick in. I can see trees, you know, and then knowing with trees, if they're out in nature, I hear a bunch of different movement. It could be from the wind. It could be from people walking. It could be animals running by, maybe deer crossing, birds or squirrels. I might taste the fresh air. So I know part of the nature senses when we get out there, the air changes and it might even kind of sense with my nose the smell of rain as it comes in or I might smell the beauty of the flowers and the plants and the trees around me. Maybe even get lucky and smell some berries. So right away, notice how my senses automatically kicked in. And so now let's begin the story and let's continue boys and girls to do the same. Let's continue to notice where our senses jump in and help us to visualize and be more engaged in the story as we read. The Black Rabbit. Rabbit woke up one morning and stepped out of his burrow into the bright sunlight. It was a beautiful day. And so right away, boys and girls, so see how there's so much white on this? But we already knew as the story started that this rabbit is out in all that nature. And so as my senses kick in, I, I sense some sun. And I can feel the sun. So I can see how bright it is out. I can also hear the bugs. I can hear the bee buzzing. I can hear some birds flying around in the sky. And I can see and maybe even feel the flowers and maybe smell the scent of those flowers all around the rabbit as he woke up. Parts of me also smelled and felt just the, the dirt that the rabbit was crawling out of. But something was wrong. Rabbit was not alone. And Rabbit was scared. Go away, Black Rabbit, he cried. But the Black Rabbit did not move. So again, right away, watch and notice how I'm using my senses. I see just the bright yellow sky. So I'm seeing the sunlight, but I'm also feeling it in the air because hot sun can make the just the warmth of the air feel very different, but also right onto Rabbit, right? And then I hear and I notice, I see an exclamation point. He cried. So I'm feeling the heart, the, the, the rabbit's heart racing. Because so I can tell that he's, he's scared and he's nervous. I can see and smell the flowers. I can also feel the rabbit's trembling. And if you have any agrees of the senses that you're, you are beginning to use while I'm modeling for you, Go ahead and give the I agree sign. Helps you stay engaged in the story too, right? Rabbit ran. 
but the black rabbit was right behind him. So the senses that kicked in for me is that I can feel the grass on the rabbit's feet, just the thickness and the soft softness of that grass. I can feel the heat on rabbit's face and I can feel the, I can feel and see the trees that he's passing and he's, as he's running in the bushes and probably some critters, some animals and maybe even some bugs as he's running by. And I bet he's starting to sweat. So I kind of feel that and I continue to feel that poor little heart racing because he's so scared. And I do see and notice the size difference. So Rabbit ran even faster. Oh my goodness. He's running and running. Look at those little, little legs. I bet you I can, I can feel and sense his anxiety, but really his muscles are starting to get sore and tired. I can feel his breathing. And I can see way out here in the distance past all these bushes. I can really see all these big hills, big, open, beautiful hills. And I can continue to feel that sunlight. The black rabbit won't find me here, thought rabbit. And he hid behind a tree. But when Rabbit stepped out from behind the tree, I noticed there's some cattails here. And using my schema, I have, I have some water in the back part of my yard. And I always see these cattails. So I'm hearing frogs right now. And I can hear and feel and sense these little water critters jumping around and moving around can hear the birds chirping, not just see them. I can see them too. I see their beautiful colors and their little legs. I see the fresh branches on the trees starting to grow. I see clouds, maybe some little bugs crawling up the trees and definitely some squirrels running around because Addie and Piper would love not only to chase this rabbit, but those squirrels as well. But what's next? What a great spot to also make a prediction. But when Rabbit stepped out from behind the tree, what? What do you think? I predict. There was the black rabbit right in front of him. And what I see is I see the scared little bird up in the corner, just jumping of scare and possibly fall down. That would be a, quite a bummer. But I also see how rabbit is just kind of looking at his frozen. So it's almost like anticipating the next move of that rabbit. And I'm also picturing the other bird in my head too. And maybe that bird went higher, flew away, or fell. Maybe he's not a good swimmer like me, thought Rabbit. And he jumped into the river and swam to the other side. But as he pulled himself up onto the bank, oh no, what? So on this, my senses come out right away thinking of the wetness, the wet fur on the rabbit. And then taste the water. Feel those little splashes and I can hear the wings the dragonflies, the bubbles splashing, the focus on a little rabbit's face. And I feel the temperature of the water and the temperature of the air 
Do you feel that too? And as I said, I could hear the wings, but I'm also seeing the speed of those wings. And then I feel the force, like the force of that swimming and the pushing, the kick of that water and sort of the force of the fish swimming too. And I see their beautiful colors. The black rabbit climbed out of the water too. Now I, now I see some changes here. I see some openness of the land. I notice and see the, the stream of water extending down and away. And I can visualize and see all the other little water animals along here too. Maybe a Maybe a beaver or a muskrat, maybe some deer down the way. What do you want? cried Rabbit Trembling. Why are you following me? But the Black Rabbit did not reply. So I see the kind of, it's not quite so bright over here. So I really re see how bright the sky is, how open and free it is. But then look how it got a little darker, didn't it? So my eyes are seeing the, the darkness, the shade. Still see bright sky on this side though. And I see the worry, and I can feel, can feel Rabbit's worry. I can also feel the bigness, the bigness of the Black Rabbit, like the power, big. Rabbit began to, began to run again faster than he, than he had ever run before, straight into the deep, dark wood. Welcome to the deep, dark wood. And so my senses kick in because it's changing here into the deep, dark wood. See how it's all fully dark, no sunlight. So I feel a boom, quick temperature change on my body. I, I hear the silence. So every time Rabbit runs, maybe steps on a twig and there's a snap here and a snap there. And I, I see no flowers. I see the flowers are gone. But I definitely know there's some weeds and in this darker, maybe there's some salamanders. Maybe it's like <gasps> humid and probably on the trees there's some moss. Having those nature senses kick in. The forest was dark and quiet. The black rabbit was nowhere to be seen. I see a lot of gray, no flowers, no green, no bright yellow. And it makes like, oh, makes you feel this sense of surprise, like, what is lurking down around the trees? I notice how bare it is and not colorful. And it's not real busy. Not a whole lot of things flying around. With a sigh of relief, Rabbit sat down and nibbled a carrot until he noticed two eyes. Two eyes shining brightly in the dark. Oh no, thought Rabbit. The black rabbit has found me. So he's, he's I see this change from calm to now probably fear. And I see the shape of the eyes are very different than the black rabbit. Which makes me think more like a predator. I can 
taste that carrot he's eating. I can feel the air. I can taste and smell the carrot. But also this little whatever here. Oh boy. But it wasn't the black rabbit. Oh no. So now I see the sharp teeth and the sharp nails, the big tail. I hear the thud of the carrot and just the rabbit's paws. But I also like the busy feet of ah, and the of the beast coming up. Rabbit ran as fast as he could out of the deep dark forest with Wolf close behind him. And then he tripped. So the senses that kick in for me are is all this commotion. The running and they're probably running through things, over things, under things, through things. They're probably tripping. And I see pa a stick here. Of something that rabbit tumbles and falls over. Maybe a rock. And just kind of kaboom. Seeing stars knocked himself out. And I definitely can hear the feet. Rabbit scrambled to his feet. Oh, but it was too late. He shut his eyes tight and waited for Wolf to attack. But nothing happened. I noticed the the wolf's head is up. The frozen position, the silence, the warm and brightness again. It's warm and open and bright, and I see the nature smells again. And I feel his toes bending up. And his eyes popping way open. I can feel that. And just the grandness. Because there. Standing in the sunlight. Behind Rabbit. Was. The Black Rabbit. Oh, I feel the tall strength. The Black Rabbit. And I feel Rabbit's shortness. I feel the sun again, and I hear the wolf skittering away. And I can feel the calm that comes about, comes about Rabbit. Rabbit smiled, and somehow he knew that the black rabbit was smiling back. Hand in hand, they bounced off across the field. So I feel the happiness. I feel the, the love. I feel all that sunlight still and all the nature around. And all the way down this, this patch. I feel the bouncy. So today, boys and girls, did you notice how I used senses each time the story revealed itself. Each time, each page, as the story was revealed, my imagination, my mind stayed engaged in the black rabbit by continuously noticing and using my five senses, using all the pictures and the words, the descriptive words, but also bringing in my own schema and using my visualizing to stay connected with the story, to connect with the characters more. And now it's your turn to try today, boys and girls, in your independent reading today. I would like you to use your senses while, you're, while you read, to stay engaged, to comprehend your story better, and really to notice more that the author gives you so you can feel what's going on in the story. Happy reading.
and good luck with your visualizing today.